Hey guys, welcome back to Puff It Louder. Um, so we're gonna continue with this warm and tingly game. Here we go. Let's just get right into it. Oh, he's blushing. And who would that be? Hmm? I'll never tell. Okay, well. Oh, hello, kitty. I still think it's a bit of a nuisance having a little animal just wander around. But even I have to admit, you have a friendly little face. I can see why others like you. Come on, Valerie. You know you want to pet Creamu. Creamu love pats and scratches, but not on the legs for some reason. That's a big nope. Maybe later. Mm. <clears throat> I can feel it, Creamu. We're almost there. The missing painting on her is surely waiting for us behind this door. Well, the boys are still stuck. It's so sad to think about someone dying alone and abandoned. I hope Woo had a friend or two by his side. From the looks of this place, I doubt he got out much. No, that's so sad. Some folks like their solitude. Some folks get a little too comfortable in it. That's life. You guys will be my best friends until the end of time, right? Of course, son. The mystery teens will always stick together, no matter what. Yay! That makes me feel a lot better. Alright, well, we can't get in there. I love this little statue! Yeah, la la la. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go get the boys. Still singing or dancing or whatever. Meow. Nothing. Meow. <gasps> oh! I see. <clears throat> this song, I must say, it is not my jam. Ahem, I must apologize, I'm being rude. Ever since poor Oscar parted from this reality, music has been terrible. Only true auditory inspiration can swirl the divine energy within us all and get us on our feet. This particular mortal is an exception. My magical ghost powers are getting him on his feet. I must say, though, he has quite a lot of natural talent. He ought to dance all the time. I digress, feline. This horrid state of unsatisfactory sounds quite plainly shall not stand. I have a favorite piece in here somewhere. I know not what it's called. It has a sort of rich energy to it, you know what I mean? Just find something to play, won't you? My jam is certainly contained in one of these records. Is it this one? <laughs> yes, press buttons and song. Oh my god, that's so perfect. <sighs> I have no, absolutely no idea what this could be. Let's play it. Oh, now I'm heard. I'm sure I've heard this somewhere. Isn't that from that one channel, the one where they play video games? Uh, no, I can't say I have any idea what you're talking about. This is so great. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so great. Oh, if you guys haven't watched Press Buttons and Talk, you have to go watch it. It's they're so good. Anyways, let's try this one. Wait, you should go see- oh, whoops. Good point. Hello. Um, oh right, meow. <laughs> I'm certain this piece usually has lyrics, but they've escaped me. Now it's time to- hmm, something. Anyway, it's a real bad song. You've chosen really bad music with which to try and swoon me. I am thoroughly dissatisfied. But it's my favorite song. Fine. Elements of Jazz, Volume 3 by Eddie and the Elements. What you find there, Creamu? You want I should put this on... What? You want I should put on this record? Yes, jazz it up, baby. Is this supposed to be jazz? It's... Huh, not the best. Ugh, jazz, are you out of your mind? 
Let me tell you an important secret. Nobody likes jazz. I like jazz, sorry. Could you please stop fooling around and play my favorite music instead? It's kind of upbeat, but not that upbeat. It makes you want to snap your fingers, but not too hard, just a little bit. Mm, let's try Meow Meow, Meow Meow song, Makers of the Forest. Okay, this seems nice. Look, there's a picture of a kitty cat on it. It's you, Creamu. What do you think, Creamu? Want to play this? Yes, please play my song. Hey, hey. It's my song. Finally, I understand. You are an evil spirit sent here to curse me with terrible music. No good waltz has ever been written, so I honestly wish people would stop trying. Oh, Come on. We're gonna listen to press buttons and talk again. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. Squirrel Story, OST, Battle Theme. Oh man, Squirrel Story! You ever play that game? Wanna listen to it? This song's a classic. Yeah, let's listen. Is that the battle theme from Squirrel Story? Yeah. Why did Ooh have this on vinyl? Such unusual taste. Oh, I think he's happy. This is a battle theme. I would like to do battle with the horrible person who composed this theme. Urgh, this is the worst thing I've ever heard. Play something else, will you? For instance, you could find my favorite track. It's not complicated like the awful racket these stupid kids are making. God damn it. For crying out loud, we've listened to like five songs now. Are you satisfied? A true artist is never satisfied. Wee! <gasps> Oof! Oh, I think we found it. Call me a philistine, but this, this this display of true art is lost on old Bugsy Malone. Maybe I ought to just smash this old hunk of junk to pieces. Please do not. Please do not. The perfect sign. Another one? Boy, I hope this is the last one. I'm getting sick of this room. Yes, one last time. The sound. This beautiful ensemble. It is the song I've so craved! Watch me go! I'm doing it! I'm bringing it home! <laughs> Thank you for indulging me, furry friend. I'm happy for the first time in years. He's listening to this? Oh, I know what this song is. I can't remember the name. I shall allow your human servants to pass by unpestered henceforth. Unpestered by me, at the least, as I jam. <clears throat> anyway, I've never been sweatier in my life. Are y'all danced out there, Barishkinov? <laughs> or Barishkov? I don't know. Oh, timely reference. And yes, I would say that I'm quite danced out for the night. Okay. Well... Clearly there ain't no paintings in here, so we're gonna take a look outside. Oh, uh, outside? But isn't it a little dark out? Uh, and a little st Follow me or don't whatever suits you. Mugsy! <coughs> well. Oh. Darn it, I knew I should've worked a graveyard shift tonight. Thank you for setting things straight, little fellow. Now we can be like this forever. Watching this spirit dance around is the only thing I live for. What? <laughs> hoo ha! Hoo ha! I'm the star. It's me, Yelza. Hey, don't step too close. I don't want to stomp ya. Just kidding. I'm a ghost, so it's okay. <laughs> I love this ghost. This is my favorite ghost. Oh, all right, let's go outside. Look, look at that shed. If you were a wealthy old man, you'd use your shed to store priceless valuables, right? 
That's if I su end up surviving past tonight. <sighs> Look, if you're really all that spooked out, how's about yo just wait here? I'll mosey on over to the shed and take a look myself. As if! I'm not gonna just wait idly as you rudely presume. I am going to stand right here and scan this lovely little garden for clues. What would I do if you wasn't here to stand there and scan for clues? Anyway, <clears throat> I'll just take a quick little stroll over to that shed. Oh. Holy mackerel! You fell down. I noticed. Alright, I see how it is. I'm just gonna have to brute force it. Um, hello. Such a nice little place. Just being here fills me with stillness and... <laughs> oh, thank you, Krimu. I almost caught myself beginning to relax for five seconds. And then, lo and behold, there came you. Shattering the illusion of a moment's comfort. Achoo! Come on, give me some space here. Fine. I forgot that he is invisible. <gasps> Oof! Careful there, Krimu. It's a... A bit windy out here. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. What is that thing? Oh, Muggsy, don't you know anything? It's a garden elf. They house benevolent spirits to protect the gardens. Okay, but why doesn't he have a shirt on? That's a good question. He's proud of his body. Don't you judge him. I'm not judging nobody. I just really wish that thing had a shirt on. Meow. Nope. Nothing. Ah, the garden elf of the adequate crops. What? When you have a bad harvest, he sends arrows of fortune flying across the sky. They strike your failing plants and bring them up as a passable quality. Also known as the good enough goblin. Why do you know so much about these horrible things? Because I'm a man of culture, you buffoon. You're a guy who spends too much time on the internet, you mean. I can be both of those things. Mm, meow. Ooh. Hey, what's up? Ha! I made it. Just a little bit further. That's great. Now please go look in the shed. Hey, listen, I'd love to chit-chat with a kitty cat, frankly. <laughs> I'd rather be doing that. But you know how it is, gotta impede the progress of some mortals in subtle and tedious ways. Don't bother me, alright? For heaven's sake, Muggsy, what are you waiting for? I'm about to go the rest of the way, I was just preparing, yeesh. Now I'm gonna go to the shed. Okay. Rip. No way again! Mm. Okay. This bag smells so far. Oh god, is it? Nope, never mind. Um, hello. Bad hat. Muggsy, that's so rude. Wizards shouldn't wear cowboy hats. It don't make no sense. Looks like this one forgot to get a Halloween costume, so we grabbed whatever was laying in his closet. Actually, you're right. That's exactly what he looks like. Meow. Dude, come on. Yeah, weather ain't no match for my muscle magic, baby. Go while the wind isn't blowing. What? Don't just stand there and celebrate. Go right now while there isn't any wind blowing. What? Hey, I told you not to bother me, didn't I? Don't bother me, okay? Yeah, I was there. I remember it clearly. Oh, that was a fucking flashback. What gives, man? I thought you'd be cool, but you're acting like a fool. Maybe I don't want to have a cat chat if it's with a rude dude such as yourself. I know, I'll go to my special spot. You can't reach me there, and why nobody can. Then there will be nothing to distract me from blowing gusts of wind. I'm excited. You should have been going this whole time. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. All right, here I go. One well, last time. Wind, this will be our final battle. 
Okay. Is this a special spot? Meow. No. Oh, oof. Careful there. Whoops. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, so you think you know where I'm hiding? Well, too bad there's no way to get near me without getting blown away. <laughs> this is great. I'm having a really good time. From my special spot, there's absolutely nothing that could startle or distract me. Oh, I get it. Oh, God. I get it. I get it. Hold on. Hey, boy. Achoo! Yipes! Yeah! Way to go! I failed. I've let down everyone. I've let down myself. I made it to the other side! Goodness, we've wasted so much time. Duke and the others are probably quite certain we've died. Then let's open up this creepy old shed, give her a quick, quick pain check, and peace out out of here. It, it won't, it won't budge. Well, now what? I know it's you. I know it's you. God damn it. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, hey, it's, it's you again, hey. This is pretty awkward, since last time we met, I decided we were mortal enemies. Hopefully you forgot all about that? Oh no, I just reminded you, oh, such mistakes that I make. So, you wanna- What are you doing over there, Kremu? No, the same thing, two times! Will this be a thing that happens every time I meet you? That sucks! I hope I never meet you again. Oh, well. <gasps> Doors open. Oh my goodness, is that a treasure chest? Heck yeah, this is awesome. Open it up. Ooh, Lerald found a small key. You can use it to open locked doors in the mansion. That don't look like no pain into me. No, but it's the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. We should go show this to Duke. Maybe it opens something mysterious. <laughs> Five minutes ago, you were scared out of your wits. Now you're a big, brave dog. I, I wasn't scared. I just have gastrointestinal distress tonight, that's all. Whatever you say, I don't want to look in this shed. It's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Finally, something we can agree on. Yeah, like, forget that. Who would be at a prize painting in a shed anyways? It's probably fell to the brim with spiders. Well. Rip to the ghosts. Ugh. The poor spirit of closure. I kind of feel bad. I love his face. His, like, shining face. I forgot- <laughs> I forgot that my favorite ghost is here. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I had to dance. Mm. Alright, we gave it a thorough search and as we can muster. Great work, Muggsy. Did you find the missing painting unheard? Well, no, but we found a key! Fellas, we're looking for a painting here, not a key. We were thinking it might open a locked door or something so we could help. No, oh, I didn't think about that. Well done, Larry. Well done, Muggsy. Oh, I guess I'm coming up. Uh, it's so sad to think about dying alone. We talked about this. All right, well, say, this keyhole. You think of what I'm thinking? Use the key! Hear me out, guys. I think I have a crazy idea. Ooh, I love Larry's crazy ideas. What if we use this key that we found? Go on, we're listening. And try to use it. Use it on what? Let me finish, jeez! 
I guess what I'm trying to say here, let's try our key on this door. Well, I'm Muggsy, that's genius. Wow, Malone, that might just be crazy enough to work. Yay for Muggsy! Oh, sorry, Larry, what were you trying to tell us just now? Uh, n nothing. Then it's settled. We'll give Muggsy's big key plan a shot. Well, it opened. Well, what do you know? Gang, let's not dawdle any further. Onward into this room! Ah, oh, fudge. Give me a second, gang. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <sighs> you all get startled so easily. <laughs> okay, but what is that thing? It fills me with sadness and emptiness? Like my life is a meaningless, meaningless march into oblivion. Yeah, this painting's really bumming me out. This isn't the piece we came to collect, is it? Regrets unheard by a distracted and indifferent society. One who never deserved to be heard in the first place. It certainly has that distinct ooh charm, at least from what little we know about him. Ooh. Yipes! Did, did anyone else just hear that? What? I didn't hear nothing. Hey, Krimu, I heard it too. I think it came from a spirit. Yes, it came from a very miserable spirit indeed. Oh, there he is. Oscar, oh, oh well. There's applause. <laughs> You're familiar with the name? I suppose that's not unusual. There were many who loved the name. My entire career was built around my name. The art of it, however, fell on deaf ears. Millionaires desperate to own an original of mine, but only to impress other millionaires. Despite my success, no one heard me. Thusly, I was unheard. Uh-huh, that's why you called the painting unheard? It makes sense. How I long to depart this earthly plane. But I just wish for one human to understand. Gang, I think I've firmly grasped the meaning behind unheard. Wait, could it be? Ooh, painted this piece to scare off intruders. That's not why I painted this piece. Yes, I think you're right on the money, Duke. I can get behind that interpretation. That's why it's such an awful picture. Oh, why did I even bother with art in the first place? Everything is terrible. I should just throw a veil on this wasted life and reincarnate as a bug. Oh, you know what? I think he's just saying hello. Huh, he is? Yeah, or even in his world of darkness and isolation, the subject is still happy to wave at the viewer. Despite the grimness of his inner world, Uuuu expresses his dedication to, well, expression. It's actually quite hopeful. Hopeful? I sort of wish I could take it with me. I think it'd really cheer me up on a gloomy day. Mr. Oh, did my sunbeam just strike at the true intent behind Unheard? No heavens, no. That's not even close to my original intent. It's just... I like her interpretation better. Hmm. Could this really be a hopeful painting for someone who simply believes it to be such? I have an idea. Perhaps there is time yet to express my feelings on this earthly pain after all. <gasps> He's a star. <clears throat> An electrifying breeze sweeps through the room. Sunbeam is filled with inspiration. What did he do? You'll be happy to know that Unheard is safely in the hands of Woo's grandson. Oh, that's great. Was he so excited to see it? Not in the least bit. He seemed extremely upset upon seeing the painting. Ha! <laughs> Speaking of paintings, how's that new piece you've been working on? We're all excited to see it. Oh, I'm so glad you asked. I've actually just put the finishing touches on it. Unheard inspired me. So to commemorate our adventure, I decided to make a sequel. Wow, a work of art can have a sequel? Sure, why not? Anyway, have a look. 
I gotta hand it to you, Sonny. Your work is one of a kind. I'd like to think that I had help from an unseen friend. Oh! <laughs> unseen, but certainly not unheard. <laughs> Thank you for hearing me. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Was that the end of the game? Oh my god, it was! That's so cute. Oh, man. So, that's the end of Here Come the Mystery Teens, and I give this game a rating of 10 out of 10, because look at the artwork. It's amazing. Look at the freaking music. It's beautiful. The characters literally have such a personality that it makes you fall in love with the game. Like, the quirkiness of Sunbeam. We got the spirit of Closure's face. We got the spirit of Dawn's, you know? Like, all of those characters make it so good. And I really want a sequel. <laughs> Like, I don't want to be like, hey, Alex, I know you just made this game, but can you please make a sequel? Please, please, please. Alex, if you're watching this, I hope I don't come off as super annoying, <laughs> but please make a sequel because it was great and I absolutely loved it. Um, for those of you who haven't played the game, or who want to play the game, or who want to support Alex, I'm putting links in all of my episodes, uh, so far in the description below, so that you can go and buy the game for yourself. It's literally only five dollars, which is pretty much the cost of a fucking frappuccino from Starbucks, so you might as well get the game and support your fellow indie developers. Woo! Anyways, next time on Puff It Louda, we will be maybe continuing Ace Attorney or maybe doing something else. So I'll see you guys next time.